Albion confirms that the explosions seen in the skies over London were indeed an Albion drone project that was sabotaged by the DedSec insurgency. In an exclusive interview with GBB Radio 1, Albion founder and CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. Truth is, the supposed freedom fighters of DedSec have made London less free. That drone project was meant to replace Albion boots on the ground, let this city get back to normal, but now, I can't in good conscience stand my people down. That's not how I lead. Cass went on to implore listeners to treat any suspected DedSec operatives as terrorists and to immediately report them to Albion. Of course, we stop him from enacting his reign of terror and Cass spins it into a sob story. His true talent isn't being a soldier, he's a salesman. And it's working. Sorry, that was too cheerful. Sadly, it's working. Too sad? It's what he does. Scares the shit out of people, then swoops in and plays the hero. We've got to show them what he really is. So that's his weakness, his image. If we shatter that, he falls apart. Funny you mention it. I had a thought about that. Show them badly. This is Claire Waters, political dissident and podcaster, reported missing after teasing a salacious upcoming episode. Sadly, it never aired. So all we have is this. On the next episode of Buccaneer Radio, I'm chatting with someone from deep inside Nigel Cass's inner circle. He's promised me something that will expose Cass as the tyrant I know he is. This is going to blow the roof right off White Tower. See you next week, pirates. Nigel would have spun that interview if it was spinnable. If he went off the waters for it, that tape's a smoking gun. We've got to have it. Claire was known to broadcast out of Freight 1. You should begin searching there. Claire used, to Claire used to broadcast from somewhere around here. That's all I've got, I'm afraid. Bloody analog technology. But a woman with a million enemies, she's quite easy to find. I hope no one's beat us to it. Military contractors on foreign streets. But not their own. He's a fool! This whole city, this whole country's collapsing. The military's held together with duct tape. At least I'm running scared. Someone has to save the people, Nigel. Someone strong. <laughs> they do. And I've already worked it out. The ideal targets are the Toan Conference, Parliament, and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tech teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable. It cannot trace back to me. You're forgetting something. And I'll get you access to filament, as agreed. Now go away. Look, I've been working with bugs on something, and it's something, and this proof is just the token we need it. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. I've given you the truth. Do as you will. Actually, fuck that. Resist. Not bad, not bad if I do say so, innit? Hamish! Ha <laughs> ha! Is that really you? In the flesh? Yeah, well, can't lock myself away from the world forever. Got a lot to make up for, don't I? Besides, you sorry lot need all the help you can get. Check it. Hey! Hey! Fucking wankers! Yeah. Albion won't just disappear. 